Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. Today, I'm going to share the Stinger, which is a collab between Farron Forge as the designers and We Knives as the producers of the builds. This being the most prolific of the bunch, and also said to be one of the best EDC buys and carries of 2020. With a closed length of 4.1 inches, the Stinger is extremely pocket friendly. With a streamlined handle thickness of 39 hundredths of an inch, and a true deep carry spring clip that can be manipulated in and out of pocket with one hand and or be toted around as a fifth pocket carry. Comprised of a liner locking stainless steel frame with G10 overlays and a G10 spacer that wraps around the butt of the handle. The clip is utilizing a single screw mount and in this case the G10 has been milled out so the clip and screw are both recessed. The clip is right hand tip up only which I believe is due to the ingenious direction Ferrum Forge took to minimize the exposed hardware. The visible body screws merely hold the G10 to the actual underlying frame, while the hidden screws tap into the standoffs and hold the spacer's placement along with body pins which provide the Stinger's true rigidity within the build. The Stinger has two means of deploy, the initial being the very minimal and non-obtrusive flipper tab, very similar if not the same to the mini Archbishop and the fact that it's barely even there but works so well. Both push button and light switch methods effectively send the blade into lockup. And as we look at the blade, you will notice a fuller, and some would say a slot or a nick. But this is fully functional and my favorite deploy option as well. The 90 degree edge on the milled angle makes for a very catchy surface. So using the fingernail isn't the only way to access this slot. You can just as effectively manipulate the blade via the slot with your fingertips. Due to the G10 overlay and lack of any pressure applied to the lock bar, all thumb flicks are super easy to pull off without the thought of any finger placement whatsoever. Even though I'm left handed, flicking and deploying a knife with my left hand is the most awkward feeling because I learned with my right. But with this design, left handed deploy isn't difficult or problematic. Disengagement on the other hand, no pun intended, that's a different story of struggle. With the length of 3.2 inches and comprised of Nitro V steel sporting a drop point style flat ground stone wash blade, the Stinger is the all around complete EDC package. With a laser beam 117 thousandths of an inch thickness, the Stinger's blade can easily shave the skin off of grape. As seen here, the liner lock has been milled to the point it's safe to say it's skeletonized and boasts an overall weight of only 2.5 ounces. I honestly believe the Stinger was produced to rival builds such as the Benchmade Bug Out without the flex and warp many complain about on the original BO. Coming in with an overall length of 7.3 inches, the ergos on the build are superb. The clip isn't felt and the spines jumping in addition to the forward finger choil provides even more blade control, turning the stinger into more of a scalpel in a good way. And running along cage ceramic bearings, the action is on par with Wii Productions. In conclusion, I find the stinger for my ADC needs the best of the smaller liner bearing proline group. I've owned the Mini Archie, the Prolix, and even the Mini Malice or Odium, which isn't a part of the Proline, but a firm for its design in that size range. And I've come to find I'm most fond of the Stinger, being the longest, but not the heaviest, yet wielding the thinnest blade stock, identical to the Mini Archie. And the slot is also a nice touch and change up from the signature opening hole. So overall, the Stinger takes the win. Let me know in the comment section below which build best suits your EDC needs, as well as which one looks the best to you. Please share, like, comment, and sub to the channel. And with that, I'll be signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.